Or what is it? All kinds of shares, you know, two percent, you know, two percent is like, you know, one, I mean, a hundred part of white and two parts of black. Do you mix these colors? Yeah. So, you know, 30 percent gray, 36 percent. So, 72 percent, like a pretty dark, you know. 18 percent, so medium gray. You have to record, you know it, right? <laughs> so I kind of mix these sh shades. You know with the zone system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is that, a zone six or a zone four? Zone five. <laughs> you studied Ansel Adams? Yeah, Ansel Adams, right? And so, you know, my my painting's really sharp, like Ansel Adams, right? Oh, wow, yeah. F64. F64, <laughs> F yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I guess you know my background as a photographer is kind of influencing my uh, painting too. So you study like the West Coast photographers? Well, you know, well, I like Edward Weston. Yeah, well, I I like you know using large format camera, uh -huh. four by five. And that's what I'm kind of growing up with. You know. So we, would you call it a medium format painting? This is medium format plus some you know really grainy. Eugene Smith, you know. Eugene gray, Smith. <laughs> gray. <laughs> wow. Where did you study photography at? UNLV? Actually, in Utah. Utah? Wow. Utah State. And they're a big school for uh, really classical, classical photography. Gun prints, platinum prints. You go through a whole process just to get a splatter of the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what's going on with this painting? What's going on? Just abstract, Harich, uh, Japanese painting, I guess. You know. I don't know what. But you do them in panels, it looks like. Yeah, panels, and I worked on uh, some abstract, you know, brush strokes and stuff in the back on the background. Then on the top of it, you know, some of these Harich. Uh, what is this right here? Says Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Las Vegas yeah. Oh, place of uh, studio. And my name is behind, and the title is right here. So that's it's like classical Japanese idea, you know, to put name and place. Do you think of it as a landscape? Yeah, it's a landscape, I guess. But it's more like imaginary, you know. It doesn't really exist. You know? Uh huh. For sure. It's in colorful, you know. Yeah. So it's not really a classical because Japanese paintings are not really. Colorful, right? So, right, but I like colors. More color is better to me. So, good. Yeah, this is more, um, I would say, a sensitive, you know, refined style than that painting right there because it's, you know, more like finer lines, really clean, slick surface. Backgrounds, you know, gradation spray paints of uh, yellow to pearl white to white, and some spray dots of uh, gold and white and silvers everywhere. Yeah, this one's like from 2005 ish, five, four, five, when I was making these animal fish paintings. And uh, you do a lot of goldfish and koi fish? Yeah, that's what I like. You know, I like. The patterns of fish, you know, pattern of patterns of scale and colors of fish and color. I mean, uh, koi fish, goldfish. So, in some of your works, you've been putting perfume, perfume in Chanel bottles. I mean, this 
This painting's wrapped in plastic, but right. Yeah, I I put perfume bottles uh, for uh, like uh, tiger paintings and uh, fish paintings, and uh, because uh, animals and fish don't they fucking smell bad, right? So <laughs> they need perfume. Too. So you, so you do some like branding like this, the bows speakers on the. Yeah, don't think they listen to music or sounds, and they talk by sounds, right? So, it's incredible. This summer, yeah, it's from like 2012 that I made. I made like a couple of these, you know, kind of like psychedelic stuff. And this guy right here. Uh, this one is, I was making these panels, I mean, uh, wave paintings when I was designing a uh, snowboard. You know, yeah, let's see the snowboard. Yeah. <coughs> yeah this, this is like from 2012. I think they sold just in Japan or Asia. Who did a Burton button? Yep. Let's we'll see. That's name. nice. But and you do snowboard too, right? Oh uh, yeah, I used I used to ride for Barton. You did? Yeah. You're a competition? Well, just free riding, but you know, I was like, I was like twenty or twenty one. Then I was kind of dreaming about designing snowboard at that time, right? <laughs> then it never happened. Then I quit snowboard, and and uh, then after I I don't know. But these are like pieces of art. Do you, people don't really actually use these, will they? I don't know. A lot of my friends they bought it just to display. Do they sell them in retail stores? Oh, snowboard store. And it's it's more like a limited, I think, edition. It's called a XHCH. And this is a proto, I think, prototype that they gave me. And got nice, you know, it's really simple. And you do some skateboards too, right? Skateboard, I, I paint, you know. I've never done any like production, you know, skateboard wise, you know. Did you skate? Growing up? Yeah, skate, snowboard, and listening to punk rock. And punk that's, rock? That's why I came to the States, you know, I wanted to see the real punk rock music scene and skateboard scene, you know, then, or snowboard, you know, that's why I moved to Utah, you know, to uh -huh. to snowboard every day. So that's when I was riding. For but you were never Mormon? No, no, I, I can't, I can't stop drinking coffee. <laughs> I guess. Why drink? And you can't stop being an artist too. Well, I guess I'm too crazy to be. Well, they're nice though. Some stacks of. Uh, that's all hand painted, right? The green. Yeah, I mean this is. See, I mean this is wood panel, but this is like say this canvas. So it's okay. it's easier to understand. But I'm not super realist. You know, I'm not going for it. You know. I'm these just, guys up here. Uh, these are yeah wood grain painting. These are, you know, fish painting. Wave. Are these stretch canvas too? And this is wood panel, but these are hand painted. Everything you see is painting, you know. And these are shaped panels that I've been drawing. Yes, but this is wood panels, like you can see. Just kind of playing around with shape, and this is a uh, life. This is life. 